<laughs> what makes you so you obviously you brought in as an assistant you then cobbled together a, some funding you got a defill and then they've kept you for 30 years yeah, yeah. so yeah you yeah. must have yeah. had some talent for so what is it yeah. that makes somebody yeah. good observation okay observation spending time watching the birds sitting time uh, spending time alone in the woods just watching what the birds or, or whatever species you're, you're interested in watching them as individuals and seeing what they are doing how they interact with their environment um, and I, I, th I think that's rather poignant actually for the way things are going generally um, well in in society more more broadly but even in ecology more specifically where the research is becoming more remote so we have uh, satellite tags on birds and people can sit in sit in an office in Oxford or, or anywhere actually connected to the internet and watch migrations of of uh, their tagged birds you know on the computer screen it means that they're trying to interpret what animals are doing from okay. remote yeah. signals but there is no substitute for first-hand observation mm. and just spending the time and so there's something so I, I can sit there and observe birds and you can and presumably what makes you really good is that you see something there that I don't see right so I just see them wiggling around and you recognize that's <laughs> some kind of foraging behavior or niches that are separated yeah well I mean it's so that's that's a skill so when you're looking to train a new student you're looking for a certain kind of it's not just observation not just your ability to see but your ability to recognize that something interesting is happening so I mean, observation is always informed by your your knowledge. Yeah. You always have a, a you know a canon of knowledge that you you take into the field with you, and you're maybe trying to make your observations fit your knowledge. And if they don't, then you modify your knowledge. I mean, that's what yes. a science is, of course. Um, but it's 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 more than that. Yeah. You know, they are teaching us as well. But Always, I think, oh, if there's an overriding principle, you know, when you, you, you said you might see birds wiggling around, <laughs> um, yeah. um, it's that you know as a scientist that nothing out there is random. Yeah. Um, everything in, in a wild animal's life has a cost. Yeah. Energy, you know, uh, protein, whatever, it has a cost. So nothing happens without some sort of reason and far more of what animals do uh, has a has a real adaptive reason yeah. than not 